I'm, I am a little nuts. I mean, people that have known me for a long time will say that, but hopefully in a good way. Um, we, we said it on the front end. Uh, we're going to keep saying it. We've always played a good schedule, always, for 25 years. This year it's kind of gone over the top. Been very upfront with people. Um, you know, if you want to be an elite level program, you've, you've, you've got to play a really good schedule. So it doesn't get any easier. We've got Xavier in town this weekend. They're going to be really good. Uh, we've got some tough midweek games coming up as we move forward the rest of the schedule. We're at East Carolina next weekend, and then we start conference play. So uh, there's no easy games anymore, especially on our schedule. Uh, we've played a lot of really good teams to this point, and a lot of teams that I think are going to be successful as the season goes on. Should be exciting for our fan base, uh, exciting for our players, and we'll see if we can keep making progress each and every week uh, and show up and compete at a high level. Well, first of all, we beat a really good team. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, you know, the second thing is we didn't play really well early in the game. I, we can get better. We talked about it in our staff meeting this morning. There's things that we can do to get better. It's a long season. We're going to need as many guys as we can in terms of our position players. We're going to need as many guys as we can possibly develop in terms of our pitching staff. Um, so it's going to be a challenge each and every, every day that we get out there. The, the, the main thing is just to get better in practice every day and get better every time we play. And there's going to be lulls. There's going to be times when things don't go real well. It's just a matter of trying, again, to have that mindset of going out there and trying to make improvement every single day. Well, we have more length to our lineup now than we have for a couple of years, which is good. Uh, we, we need to continue to develop more and more guys. You know, Zach Jarrett hitting the eight hole for us is a pretty darn good eight hole hitter. Uh, I think some of what kind of got lost yesterday in the game was, was, was Craver's effort out of the bullpen. He was fantastic, really threw well, along with Prohaska. You know, along with Brooks, uh, and, and and really did, you know, kept the game intact to where we could have a chance to be able to score there late, you know, late in the game. So uh, we just need as many guys as we can have. Again, I keep saying that, but we need to lengthen our bullpen. We need to lengthen our, our lineup uh, because the games that we have coming up are going to be extremely challenging. Well, from, from our A-10 days, they were one of the best programs as well in the A-10 and, and very competitive. They're going to be very well coached. They've always had good pitching. They've always had some guys in the middle of their order that can really swing the bat. Uh, they're used to playing in, in, in really good big-time environments, uh, and they've been successful. So, uh, again, when you go out and look to make your schedule really good, you look at uh, who may have the better programs and better teams in this part of the country, and they were one of them that we identified, and we reached out to, to, to Scott, to Coach Googans, and, and their staff, and they were uh, willing to play. So. Uh, our fan base needs to continue to show up. They've been great to this point. Um, and we just we need to do everything we can to, to play at a high level this weekend because we're going to be challenged.